Yeah, all of a sudden my hair was straight when I left, and now it's like. I don't like your hair. You should have more hair. Well, thanks, but. Okay. Oh yeah, well I didn't really I didn't really dry the back part because I was like it, the camera doesn't see that it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Grace Campbell. Well, it's not often that we begin with football, but it's Alabama LSU week, and the prices for tickets are literally making headlines. Check this out. Heavy demand for the game this Saturday has pushed the average resale price to nearly $500. The average price of an Alabama LSU ticket is now the fourth highest priced college football matchup of 2019. The Notre Dame versus Georgia game was the most expensive ticket so far this year, averaging $652. The company Seat Geek says that they have had ticket inquiries from 40 out of the 50 states. Saturday's game kickoff is at 2.30 on CBS television. President Trump is expected to attend. Arrive early, fans. In other news, new research shows teenagers in the U.S. who use electronic cigarettes prefer those made by Juul Labs, and mint is their favorite flavor for many of them. This after the company stopped making fruit and dessert flavors. An estimated 28% of high school students and 11% of middle school age students said they'd used e-cigarettes in the past month. It is estimated that there are 5.3 million young users now compared to the 33.2 million last year. Tuscaloosa police are investigating after someone drove a pickup truck through one of the city's oldest cemeteries, leaving behind broken fences, damaged tombstones, two headlights, and a truck grill. One of the most damaged stones marked the grave of two-year-old Louisa Fitz, who died 154 years ago on October 6, 1865. A road worker discovered the damage and reported it to the city. On Tuesday, it appears that someone drove a Dodge Ram pickup from 28th Avenue through the Stillman Boulevard intersection and through the iron fence that surrounds the cemetery. By the way, the oldest grave in the cemetery is marked 1821. The Alabama basketball team opened their season last night at Coleman Coliseum against Ivy League member Penn. With two seconds to go in the game, point guard Kira Lewis had two free throws to win the game for the Tide, but he missed them both and Alabama lost 81 to 80. First year coach Nate Oates said after the game that he picked Lewis up off the floor and told him, we didn't lose this game because you missed those free throws. We lost because we did a bunch of things wrong tonight. But Lewis still said he would stay and shoot free throws after the Col Coliseum emptied. Penn is an experienced team and had four senior starters last night. That's a brief news and sports update. I'm Grace Campbell. Thanks for watching. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> I just. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, also, guys, just so you know, really put it like right by your head.